friends, I am back today to show you the things that I bought at the Weight Watchers studio last week when I went in for my meeting. I never got to make this video until today, so um, let me get started and quickly show you. I was gifted with another, I love these bags. Uh, it says, I've got this, WW. It's canvas, and I believe they charge $2 for them in the studio and online. Um, if anybody wants to purchase, it's a good size bag. Very lightweight, but very sturdy. Um, you can use it, I guess, for just about anything you need a bag for. Um, so this was given to me as a gift because I bought what I'm going to term, for lack of a better um, word to describe at this point, is each week they're putting like a little package together, like a package deal. This past week, it was if you spend $25, you get a choice of, there were three cookbooks, and I chose this one because it was the most current. It's the best of WW Volume 2. It has lots of really nice, look at this. Oh my goodness, wouldn't this look great on a Thanksgiving uh, dinner table, or dessert table, I should say. This is butternut squash tart with candy pecans. I don't need, maybe it's not even a dessert. I'll take it as a dessert. It looks delicious either way. Um, so I'm looking forward to making, this is grilled lasagna packets. That looks really good. Um, let's see what else we have here. Corned beef and winter vegetables. Before you know it, I mean, not that I want to rush things. We'll be looking forward to St. Patty's Day and some corned beef. So that would be interesting. And um, so let me tell you about the sections in this book. The sections are on the stove top, from the oven, off the grill with a gadget and no cooking required. I like no cooking required. That sounds good to me. So be interesting. Let's see if I can actually follow up or follow through and make you some of these recipes in this book. So this book is on sale for nine. It was on sale for $9.99. I don't know what the original price of this book was, but I was able to obtain it free with my $25 purchase. Now let me show you what I got. These are Pito's Crunchy Onion Rings. I got two bags of these. Don't remember how much I paid. Um, but these are 70 calories each. I love packaged snacks that are 70 calories. Or I should say even under 100 calories. I think they go, they're go they great. Whether you're counting calories or not, um, I don't know. To me, everything starts with the calories and how much they are. So this has two grams of protein. And it has two grams of fiber. So if you are on Nutrisystem, this works for you as a smart carb. If you're counting calories, it works because it's only 70. I like to have a little crunch with my salad. I don't want to spend more than 70, 80 calories on that. Um, and it's 17 grams or 11 chips worth. Three and a half grams of fat. Um, so I'm looking forward. I guess these are kind of like Funyuns. Remember Funyuns back in the day? So... Um, let me see if it tells me a flavor. It doesn't. Okay. So these are not a WW product. I don't believe they are anyway, but I'm looking forward to these. And I bet you, if you wanted to make, let's think about this for a second, a, uh, more plan friendly version of the green bean salad that a lot of people make for the Thanksgiving dinners, I bet you these would go great on top. And if you use the, um, lesser calorie, or even made something from scratch instead of using the canned soup, you would, um, you do really well. I bet you this would be a great substitute for those fattening onions that go, even though we all love them though, don't we? I know I do. I think I may even give that a try. Um, okay, next thing up was these um, fudge brownie mug cake mix. They used to make a tea to me stew version a few years back. I really used to enjoy having that. This to me, um, for 110 calories, it's got two grams of fat, zero saturated, 22 carbs, five fibers, and five proteins. So this to me is a perfect, perfect dessert. You can make this in the microwave. I think it's, um, let me just say, you just add three tablespoons of water to your mug and mix it really well on high. It's ready in a minute. I prefer this in my air fryer. 
in which case then um, 350 in your regular oven, again, three tablespoons of water, 10 to 12 minutes. I still think it's a bargain that it's, it's ready in 10 to 12 minutes in my air fryer, probably a little less. So there are three packets. They are three points a piece. We all know WW is changing tomorrow, but things like this don't tend to change in points from my experience. So here's your little packet. You get three of them. I think this pa this pack was um, either $4.99, somewhere between $3.99 and $5 or something like that. Um, if you go to the website, a lot of times they have deals where you get 40% off when you order on the website. Um, really good if you're new to system this is a good dessert if you are on slimming worlds i almost want to guarantee looking at the nutrition facts this will not be high in sense and i know that people on uh, slimming world over in the uk do get ww products and you have ww over there so maybe you go over and check out your uk website for ww and it's something to consider having if you want to have a dessert with family members who are going to be having five to a thousand calorie slices of cake you know it's portable you can take it with you to someone's house i'm sure they wouldn't mind you using their microwave right think about it things that we can do to prevent ourselves <clears throat> pardon me oh these are my i was watching my friend valerie reese um on her channel talking about these sinus allergies that we have i'm not sick but somehow i'm getting fried in my throat Anyway, so if you wanted to, for instance, take this along with you to someone's house, um, you know, I do crazy things like that. Call me crazy if you like, but I do a lot of different things that maybe other people are not comfortable and no one has ever looked at me as if I have 10 heads on my shoulders. Most people understand, especially nowadays with so many food allergies, people are eating gluten-free, people are eating, you know, that peanut allergies, tree nut allergies, whatever. Um... People have become very much accustomed to not everybody eats the same way. So you'd be surprised how open and comfortable people are when you're asking to do something that in, in past might have been, you know, like really uncomfortable to you. In any event, this to me is a great substitution. You use some Cool Whip and you're good to go. Um, so I'm happy to have these. Next up on the list of things that I bought, Maple Glaze. The reason I bought this is because I want to start eating more fish. We have not been really eating fish for a very long time. And this supposedly, even though it says grilled chicken and veggie kebabs for a recipe on the back, it is five calories for a half teaspoon. But um, the flavoring is it's a grilling seasoning. I was told this tastes absolutely fantastic on salmon. And that is why I chose this one. Um, there were other versions. Uh, it says personal points are one to three. So I'm assuming it's going to have some sins on the Slimming World plan. And in my book on Nutrisystem, I don't count this. Because if it's under 10 calories, 10 calories or under, I count it as a freebie. And I'm not going to be piling it on. You know, you don't have to do that. You do a little, nice little sprinkle um, before you bake it or grill it or whatever you're going to do. Put it in the air fryer and you're good to go. So, looking forward to having this. When do I ever say I'm not looking forward to having something I show you, right? Usually not. Uh, what else did I get? I tried these in the caramel for 80 calories. The nougat version is 70 calories. Now, I had already opened this. Let me show you the size of the bar. These are not the WW mini bars, okay? This is, to me, more than half of a candy bar because it is narrower than a candy bar, but it's also long. And this to me is a great replacement. I think it was Terry telling me how much she enjoyed her neighbor's candy on Halloween eating their Snickers bars. So, pardon me that this hair is just this piece of hair. It's the end of the day. I am a total wreck, more than I usually am at the beginning of the day anyway. So these are three points and 100 calories because they have the peanuts. The nougat, again, being the least of 70, it has 70 calories. The nougat caramel version has 80, and these, because it also has the peanuts, have 100. But um, I like to keep things interesting, interesting, pardon me, and spice is the variety of life. So 
this is a little bit kicking up the spice with the peanuts. What can I tell you? So what do we have here? Five grams of fat, three saturated fat, three fibers, 14 grams of carbs, and four grams of protein. Total sugars is only one. Less than a gram of added sugars. So, um, why well, love these? Give up sweets? Never. Whenever I don't want to give up sweets. I don't want to do that. I want to have my little snacky things. So, these are good if you freeze them. Tastes really good. Um, that way, and um, for 100 calories, I think, I'll tell you the grams in weight, 27 grams. It's a substantial little bar to me for the amount of calories. And the most important thing is that they taste really good. They do taste like candy. So I think these are $5.99, could be more. Um, what I can do is, in the description box of this video, I will put the prices that I paid. So if you want to check it out, or like I said, www.com, go there. Anybody's allowed to shop there. And watch out for when there's 40% off on things. Um, they have a lot of that. And I think it's, it may or may not be if you spend 25, you get free shipping. So, um, dark chocolate peanut caramel bar. Okay. Next thing, I have been looking at this product for five years, I want to say. I asked my guide, Sue, if she's ever had these. She's somebody that um, I trust her opinion on things, obviously. So I asked her. She said she has had these. She really likes them and enjoys them. Now, there's a woman called Alicia Lynn. She has a lovely, lovely WW uh, YouTube channel. On her channel, she does basically a lot of recipes. She does food hauls and other things too. Very nice family. It's her, her husband, her son, and their pups. And very, very nice people. Her husband's also on WW. They have been for a very long time now. She makes a recipe from scratch. I don't like dry um, cornmeal muffins. She uses non-fat Greek yogurt in hers. I almost want to say that is probably why she describes hers as being moist. So what I think when I make mine, I'm going to experiment and use some of the Greek yogurt. Uh, this is when I make, this says add three tablespoons of water. I may add two tablespoons of water and a tablespoon of Greek yogurt just to, to see. And do I have corn um, muffin mix in my cupboard? Of course I do. But I've said many times before, unless I sit down and perfect a one or two cornmeal muffin recipe for myself. I don't really want to make them because I don't want to have them around. So this is a really good way. It's the same size cup as you get when you do the, when you buy the WW uh, oatmeals. And this is 130 calories. It's 40 grams and one and a half grams of fat, 23 carbs, three fibers, four sugars, three added sugars, and 10 grams of protein. That has a lot more protein than if I made my own from scratch. I would have to probably add protein, the unflavored whey powder, to get it anywhere near that. So I like that. Um, so for 130 calories, those that are on Nutrisystem, we go to 120 for, um, if you combine this with your meal, okay, not just this in and of itself, if you pair this with a protein and you put it all together as a meal, you're going to come up with your small carbs and your power fuels. Cause this does have, so forget about the 130, pair it off as part of your meal all together, create a meal, your protein, your vegetables, and a serving of this. And then you're gonna see that you will come out with the amount of calories necessary to round out your power fuels and your small carbs for you. That's how I would do this. And for Slimming World, these are gonna have scents, um, but I think it'll, it'll be workable because if some of the ingredients for those of you not familiar, and again, I am learning Slimming World, but I played around with the app and I've looked at what it takes, what, when I do the, use the estimator that I have to do, I would put in the nutritional facts and it will give me the sins on this. But it also does ask you if anything that's in here, ingredient wise, is also something that is a free food in that plan. So I have not done it yet. I will. And I will have to come back to you with what that was, which when I make this, if I do it in a video, I will be reporting on that for those that are interested. Because again, people over in the UK can purchase WW Foods. 
these snacks. Um, okay, next up and, and last is this protein um, penne. It is yellow lentil penne. I have um, been interested in trying this. My son is trying, um, I don't know if it was black bean. It may have been black bean that he found at Aldi. Um, macaroni. So I said, oh, gee, I'm going to try this one. I'll see how it is. So this is 190 calories per full serving, which is dry 56 grams or measured out to be three quarters of a cup dry. I never use a full serving for myself personally. I use a half serving and find it to be plenty, especially if it's going to be in a soup, which is probably what I'm going to use this in. I normally do not eat macaroni unless it is in my soup or if it's already mac and cheese from Nutrisystem, let's say, as you've seen me eat many times, or a bowl from Nutrisystem that has, or even um, Smart Ones or um, Lean Cuisine, Healthy Choice type thing. Um, so this has 33 grams of carbs, three fibers, 15 proteins. That is jam-packed with protein. Again, if you are on Nutrisystem, if you put this in as part of your meal, that would be my suggestion, and you round out everything, you will then know your small carbs and your power fuels at the end of that. Um, the other plans, just track it. This I would put into my Slimming World app and see what it spits back out at me in terms of stents because the protein is so high. Um, I don't know, I haven't done it with this yet. We'll see how that goes. So that does it. Almost 17 minutes later for my... Um, little food shopping haul from WW. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you did. You'll be notified whenever and I, whenever I upload a video. It doesn't cost you anything. And um, I will see you in the next video I make for you again. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love it that you spent any time with me. It really is, um, I don't know, it just makes me feel wonderful to be helping people out there. I hope that you found the video interesting. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.